Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers at Victim Oftalin 6036. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, what's the difference between tarmac and asphalt? If you've ever walked on a freshly paved road, watched a runway in action, or just wondered what keeps our streets smooth, you might have heard these two terms used interchangeably. But are they really the same thing? Stick around as we break it down and uncover the real differences, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with Tarmac, the full name Tar McAdam. And yeah, that last part, McAdam, comes from John Loudon McAdam, the guy who revolutionized road building back in the 1800s. His idea? layering crushed stones to create durable roads. But there was one problem. Dust and loose stones made the roads a nightmare to maintain. So someone had the bright idea to bind everything together using tar. And just like that, tarmac was born. Now asphalt, that's a different story. While tarmac uses tar as a binder, asphalt uses bitumen, a sticky black byproduct of crude oil refining. This makes asphalt roads stronger, more flexible, and weather-resistant. Over time, tarmac fell out of favor because tar is less durable and can become brittle. So today, when you hear someone say tarmac, they probably mean asphalt, even if they don't realize it. All right, let's get technical, but not too technical. Tarmac is basically crushed stones mixed with tar. It's relatively simple to produce but it doesn't hold up as well under extreme weather or heavy loads. Asphalt, on the other hand, is made by mixing aggregates, crushed stone, sand, and gravel, with bitumen. This combination makes it way stronger and longer lasting than tarmac. In fact, most major highways and airport runways use asphalt for exactly this reason. So, where do you actually find tarmac today? The truth is you don't see it as much anymore. It was once popular for roads and driveways, but since asphalt is more durable and cost-effective, it took over. However, the word tarmac stuck around, especially in aviation. When you hear someone say a plane is on the tarmac, they probably mean an asphalt or concrete surface. Funny, right? It's like calling all tissues Kleenex, just a habit. Now. If you're ever in a situation where you need to choose between tarmac and asphalt, maybe for a driveway or a private road, here's what you need to know. Tarmac is easier to lay down and provides good grip, which is great for smaller, less trafficked areas. But it's not as durable. It's prone to cracking over time and doesn't handle extreme temperatures well. Asphalt, on the other hand, is more resistant to wear and tear, making it a better choice for high traffic areas. It's also smoother and requires less maintenance. So unless you're going for an old school vibe, asphalt is usually the better pick. Let's bust some myths real quick. First, tarmac and asphalt are the same thing. Nope, we just covered that and now you know better. Second, tarmac is still widely used for roads. Not quite. While it had its time, most roads today are made of asphalt. And third, all airport runways are made of tarmac. Again, false. Most are asphalt or concrete, but the word tarmac just stuck around in everyday language. So next time you hear someone say it, you'll know the real story. Now, let's talk about something important, environmental impact. Traditional tarmac and asphalt both have drawbacks when it comes to sustainability. Tar, used in tarmac, was originally derived from coal, which isn't exactly eco-friendly. Asphalt, while more durable, still relies on bitumen, a petroleum-based product. However, modern advancements are leading to greener alternatives, like recycled asphalt and bio-based binders, making road construction more sustainable than ever before. All right, let's talk money. If you're wondering which one is cheaper, the answer depends on the project. Tarmac can sometimes be less expensive up front because it's easier to lay down, but it doesn't last as long, meaning higher maintenance costs. Asphalt, while initially more costly, pays off in the long run due to its durability and lower upkeep. So, 
If you're making a long-term investment, asphalt is usually the better financial choice. Weather plays a huge role in road longevity. Tarmac, while decent in moderate conditions, struggles under extreme temperatures. It softens in intense heat and can crack in freezing weather. Asphalt, on the other hand, is designed to be more adaptable. Its flexibility allows it to expand and contract with temperature shifts, reducing the risk of damage. This makes asphalt a better option for areas prone to scorching summers or harsh winters. So if you're in a place with unpredictable weather, asphalt is likely the smarter, more durable choice. The future of road surfaces is evolving beyond just tarmac and asphalt. Researchers are exploring innovative solutions like graphene-enhanced asphalt, which promises even greater durability and longevity. Some cities are testing recycled plastic roads, which repurpose waste materials into durable surfaces. Others are implementing smart roads that can interact with autonomous vehicles, improving safety and efficiency. With these developments, the way we build and maintain roads is set to change dramatically in the coming years. Looking ahead, both tarmac and asphalt might soon be joined, or even replaced, by innovative new materials. Scientists are developing self-healing roads that use special bacteria to repair cracks, potentially reducing long-term maintenance. Some companies are also experimenting with solar roads, which could generate electricity while still serving as functional highways. Other advancements include eco-friendly binders made from plant-based materials and permeable pavements designed to reduce flooding. While asphalt remains the dominant choice today, the road construction industry is evolving fast and the future looks more sustainable and high-tech than ever. So, next time you hear someone say tarmac, you'll know whether they're talking about an actual tarmacadam road or just using an outdated term for asphalt. Either way, you can totally impress them with your newfound knowledge. And who knows? Maybe you'll even correct someone at an airport. Just don't be that guy who lectures random travelers. Trust me, they won't appreciate it. But beyond just terminology, Understanding these differences gives us insight into how infrastructure has evolved over time. Roads aren't just paths we travel. They're engineering feats shaped by necessity, technology, and even language. And as new materials and techniques emerge, who knows what we'll be driving on in the next few decades. Maybe one day, asphalt and tarmac will both be relics of the past, replaced by something even better. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.